All right, guys, this is Pilot Gardener and Reefer. Sorry it's been so long since I posted a video, but as you can see, my Red Sea Reefer 250 is doing quite well. The corals that I have in here are the exact same corals that I had in my last video where I was talking about explosive growth then. But if that was explosive, just check out what we have going on now. We have huge colonies of palithoas and zoanthids. My mushrooms have really exploded up top. And the star polyp is massive. <clears throat> I went through a move, had to move the tank to a new house. And the only coral that was really affected was the zinnia. I still have some of that zinnia in here, the same zinnia that was from the last video, but it's little small colonies and they're just not uh, expanding as fast as the zinnia did originally when I, when I had it, but I'm kind of thinking that's not really a bad thing. I do have some of it in here. I've got a couple colonies. There's, you know, some back here on the, on that rock that looks kind of bare back here but there's Xenia all over the left end of that rock and it's, you can see all the mouths opening and closing and you know, it's, uh, it's doing okay. But I kind of like it like this, you know, because before it was very obtrusive. It was taking over, you know, sections. It was blotting out some of the, some of the light, you know, to some of the corals that were below it. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with it the way it is. And I really love the star polyp. I mean, I have huge colonies of that stuff. I mean, you can see down here, got zoanthids with some star polyp there. These zoanthids have absolutely exploded. But this star polyp is absolutely gorgeous. I did lose a couple of fish in the move. It's kind of sad about that, but we had some some delays with weather and and some delays actually getting into the house, so it kind of hurt the aquarium move a bit. And thankfully, my uh, my aquarium guy that you know handles some of my water changes and I, who I purchase all my water through. He was a huge help in helping, you know, keep everything alive the best he could with the move. So I thank him for that. So I lost one of my clownfish and I lost, let's see, I think it was, yeah, one of the clowns and I, don't, I can't remember which other fish it was. I lost two fish. But since then I've purchased this little dotty back right here, which has been a, a nice little addition and he's kind of warmed up to me a bit i've been hand feeding so and i've got this little flame hawk and he is the coolest little fish ever he perches on everything and it's so neat because he just kind of he's perching and he's turning his head to look at you to see what you know see what you're doing so let's see if we can see him swim around a little bit there he goes, but he just swims and perches. <laughs> He's a cool little fish. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick little view and update of how the coral's coming along. I've been without the algae scrubber for quite a while and I have absolutely no issues with my with my water quality. I'm not having I'm not having any issues with algae, you know, issues here. And actually, since I started hand feeding and dropping the food in the front of the tank, I've had less algae problems than ever. Like I had a little bit of some problems before when I was using the automatic feeder. And the automatic feeder was dropping the food kind of in the back of the tank over that way. So maybe there were, you know, food, you know, maybe it's food getting lost in the corals, you know, and then you know, causing the algae to out, you know, have an outbreak in the tank. But since feeding in the front of the tank, dropping all the food in the front, I haven't had any issues, none whatsoever. 
So anyway, guys, I just thought I would post a little update and let you kind of, you know, get a view of the same frags that I've had in here for, what now, I guess three years. But these are huge colonies now. So it's definitely uh, something to look at. I basically turned about $150 frags into probably close to $2,000 worth of coral. Especially with the inflated prices that we see at the fish stores today. Well, anyway, comment, let me know what you think. And, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.